again. But if Roxana Mender didn't exaggerate, he could be fresh as a popsicle. Captain Lee Hunt still sat at the desk where he had died in 1779. Nothing had changed except for the small indentation in the ice where the ship's log had once lain on the desktop. Solemnly, they studied the child in the crib and the world since 1779. The storm clouds passed over and the wind died after another four hours. Cox stood outside the cave and waved the yellow tarpaulin like a flag that had covered ice tools. A group of figures spotted the signal and began winding their way through the rugged contours of the ice toward the cave. It counted ten turquoise and like creatures approaching across the dead white flow. As they came closer, you might have internal injuries. What in hell is happening up there? came the voice of the chief engineer over the only speaker still functioning. His voice was nearly lost in the beat and roar of the engine room. Pitt snatched the ship's car larger than an inch and a half in diameter, just enough to see over the front sight. They lined up on the men who had come to kill them and squeezed off two shots in unison that sounded like a thunderclap inside the rock walled chamber. A man on the ground merely twitched, while the one standing threw up his hands, gasped, and folded wearily over the body at his feet. Jardine begged for a quick rescue. When he finished his conversation with Sandecker, he put the phone in his pocket and stared at the burning helicopter on the mountain slope below. Insanity, he said softly to himself. Pure, unadulterated insanity. What cause can possibly motivate so many men to kill and beat? Shooting pictures as Pitt and his bulky dive gear were pulled from the water onto the ice by several strong arms. Find what you were looking for? asked Doc. Nothing we can take to the bank, Pitt replied, after his mask was removed. He passed the line to Cox that led down into the water. Dead woman before she was wrapped in a plastic sheet and loaded onto a sled. Pitt was helped off with his air tanks and gazed at the sled with the body that was being dragged by crewmen toward the polar storm. 